it's um, uh, the full device is getting get us, gets assembled in the shipyard. Um, the turbine gets installed in the shipyard, and then as it gets fully assembled, it is wet towed to the installation site. What does that give you? All those big boats that require big cranes that cost you 150,000 pounds a day, we don't need them. We need a small boat that costs us 10,000 pounds a day. Also, it gives you an ability to do cereal production. You can actually fabricate them in the cereal fashion such that you can get to the installation a lot quicker. The difference between floating structures and monopile structures. Monopile structures, you have to divide, design each installation individually. Each unit becomes a unit because your ocean flow conditions are going to vary. If you have one here, kilometer away, it's going to be something different. So you cannot just take one design and say that that would be suitable for another installation. Using an anchor laying vessel does not cost you a lot of money. Those vessels are readily available um, and can be produced a lot simpler and faster than big installation vessels that would be required. Once the unit is installed or when you start installing the unit, we can do all the anchor laying ahead of time, which gives you an opportunity to reduce your weather dependency. Because you only need about two days to do the anchor laying and then you can go away and come back when the weather is good to do the rest of the installation. So you're not tying your supply vessels for much longer time. Once the unit is installed, it is lowered to the operating draft. And uh, with a secondary trimming mechanism, which is similar to what you do with the wind turbines, where turbines are vain to adjust in the wind, we can trim the positioning of the unit such that we can optimize the performance of the turbine. All of it is driven towards to getting as many megawatts as, megawatt hours as we can from the wind generation. The connection of the water is no different than what you would do in the fixed monopile installations where you have a grid on the ocean floor. That principle is the same whether you do fixed foundations or floating. The difference is that we do have a cable that floats that goes on to, to the ocean floor and that it's uh, buried or laid down. But with a floating structure we can also add another component that fixed foundations cannot really add and that's a support structure. <clears throat> Using one of the platforms, you can put all your transformers, all your gears on one platform and then run only one cable back to shore. That is done in a monopile foundations with an offshore substation. In this case, you can use one of the structures. This also gives you an opportunity to provide housing for personnel if necessary because the structure is very stable. That reduces your time that it takes you to travel to the, um, to the farm. By being floating and by being in the deeper water, you can put it offshore such that you don't have any visual pollution because some places you do not want to have visibility of the unit. And giving you an ability to go beyond 10 miles, which is beyond the horizon, uh, allows you to eliminate some of those drawbacks as well.